What is going on guys? Dre here and welcome back aboard the Svalbard. Today we're gonna get out and do some more King Crab fishing and uh, the game's been updated not once but actually four times since we last played uh, because a lot of people were complaining about the King Crab fishing in this game. So the developers are listening, which is really, really good, and uh, they've updated it to allow for more crew members. The crew will now sort the fish for you, which is great. And basically now King Crab fishing in this game is playable, which is very, very important. So we're gonna get out today, and this time we're actually going to be able to sell some crab. At least hopefully. So yeah, we got two crew members now. We shouldn't have to do much crab sorting for ourselves, but I'll definitely try and do it. I want to get these pots in the water as quickly as possible. We're going to go nice and close. We got this nice green area over here. And as you can see, it's definitely expanding out over uh, towards these islands. So if we explore this part of the map, we should get a lot of crab zones. I want to be nice and close to a port. That way we don't run into time issues later on. So we're just going to fast travel right to this hard green zone. We got to drop some pots in the water. And that's exactly what we're going to do for the start. So yeah, we got two crew members. Uh, we can tell them to bait and set. Oh crap, she's been cooking, so she's probably a little tired. We'll get her to rest. Enar over here is a level 90, and he's a good bait and set potter. So yeah, we're definitely going to get him out there. Let's speed it up a little bit and get back out and actually do some crab fishing today. So yeah, we're pretty much good to go right away. I'm going to get away from this view, and we are going to drop quite a few pots right now. I want to do a lot of them. Now, as you can see, I have been playing a little bit, hence the mess with the crab pots. They don't stack perfectly anymore, so I'm, I think I'm always going to have a mess on this deck because you cannot rotate the pots, so I'm not sure why they don't stack anymore, but uh, it doesn't really matter. just looks a little bit ugly. Anyways, let's get this pot baited. This is probably prime zone right now, and yeah, we'll just throw down a bunch of these ugly pots that are over here. All right, don't even need the drive. We should be going right through the middle of it. So I want to get as many pots out as quickly as possible. We need a nice line of these things. And I'm probably going to do the majority of these pots. If you remember in the last ep episode, we lost a lot of our pots. So I think we only have like 27 now, which is a good amount. Don't get me wrong. We're going to get a big payday today. I do promise you guys that. But yeah, I want a nice spread of these. So we're going to uh, probably do a few here and then we'll move ahead and do a few more somewhere else because this is actually a rather small zone. What do we have? Like four right now? I think five should be good for right now. Why can I not grab this pot? See this? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so just got to finesse it a little bit. But yeah, now this is so much better. My job is mostly sorting the uh, crane pots and grabbing the crab. Now I got a crew that will actually do some of the monotonous jobs for me. All right, so we're going to let this guy do this pot, and then I think that should be good. That was a good six pots really, really quickly. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get off that. What are we looking at right now? So yeah, the six one, and as you can see, Good time to stop. We'll move up to the next zone and drop probably about six more. Actually, you know what? Is it green all the way through here? I think we're just going to keep going. We're going to have a nice long line of them. We're going to have, obviously, a dry zone here. But I think it makes sense to try and get as many out in the water as possible. As long as we can grab them quick, we shouldn't risk losing any of them. Alright, so I think that's good. We got a couple more pots left, but as you can see, look at that line. Check out that perfectness. So yeah, 17 pots is a big challenge to pull in. So being that I'm still rather new at this, I think that's going to be a nice spread of 17 pots and we should get a nice payday here. Oh, that's perfect. So how long have we been soaking? I did rather good. So yeah, one hour soak on the first pot. I don't want to give these things too long of a chance to soak because it's going to take me longer to reel them in than, you know, a veteran crab fisherman. So we're probably only going to give it a few hours to uh, hang out. By the time we get back, we might even want to head back out. I'm thinking we might stay for like four hours or so oh crap i forgot to get this guy to rest okay so we definitely want this guy to rest because he's gonna have to work for us she's resting as well and you know what i got some food for him at least so we should be able to make quick work of this can we give him two food no we can only hold one at a time all right but it's gonna take a good four hours to get out there he should be rested and ready to go by the time we get out at least hopefully because i really need these two to be sorting that way i don't have to sort at all by the way i should mention 
In fishing tools, if you go to king crab, it now tells you the difference between a male and female crab. You're supposed to get rid of all the females, so obviously I can help out now. It's pretty easy to tell the difference. All right, so let's let these guys relax for a few hours, and then we gotta get back out. We should be able to dock now. Yes, indeed, we can. And skip some time. Definitely not 24 hours. We're just, like I said, we're only gonna do... Might, might not even do four. We're only gonna do three... Because now it should be about 10 hours. We can't see until we leave, unfortunately. I can only open the map when I'm away from a port. But now it should be 7 hours. By the time we get out there, it will probably be about 12. Now, you're supposed to let these things soak for 20 or so. But my logic is I'm going to be extremely slow at doing this. So over time, our pots are going to get better and better. And hopefully by the time we get to like 10 to 17, they should be the perfect soak. And that's the zone we want to hit up anyways. So yeah. I just want to give myself the best chance possible to not melt my catch like last time. Remember last episode, we brought the crab back to the port, and right when we got there, the crab got rotten. And uh, obviously, that's a sad day. So I want to give myself lots of time, make sure we'll be okay, don't have to worry too much. Because 48 hours goes quick in this game, man. And uh, we want to make sure we're ready and ready to go. Cannot fast travel? Are you serious? There we go. Okay, so I just had something blocking my way. Oh, crap. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Exit. Okay. Uh, didn't mean to add that extra zone. But there we go. We're back. It's dark o'clock out. But that's what we got lights for. So let's put the work lights on. Unfortunately, that's all my lights on right now. So it still is rather dark. Of course, this is going to be much harder to find the pots now. So this is going to be fun for me. Uh, these people should be ready to go, though. How are you guys doing? Rested and rested, ready to rock and roll. Let's get you guys out sorting crabs, and hopefully you guys don't get too exhausted because you don't have too much stamina. All right, so I can see the red, so we should be able to grab this first one. We're a little bit off-center, though, so we do got to correct ourselves. And I did this run so fast, I'm going to throw the thing in the neutral every pot we catch just because I was dropping them like a rocket. So, yeah, you can see the next one's, like, right there. So, yeah, we're going to drop this in the neutral now that we're there. And we might even back up a little bit. And start reeling it in. Haul that pot. And, yes, they're going to do everything. All I got to do is move the crab pot over for them. So, there you guys go. And this is great. This feels like I actually have a crew now. I don't got to do all that monotonous stuff of sorting the crab. So, now it looks like they've already grabbed everything out of it. So, yeah, we had a very early soak, as you can see. Uh, and I'm gonna try and sort these as much as possible, but yeah, nine crabs in that pot, 45 kgs is nothing. Why does it go out to this view? Okay, let's just drop it down. I'm doing ten things at once right now, and drop off that. Alright, so I'm gonna back up my boat a little bit. We want to align ourselves right so we can just do this really, really quickly. I'm a little bit off-center, so I want to make sure we're all good and ready to roll. So being that our pots need to soak for a little bit longer anyways, we may as well burn some time right now and try and set this up perfectly so we have a nice, easy time collecting the next 16 pots. All right, coming up to the next pot. The one downside about sitting out back here, I don't get this view once we grab a pot. You see, once I, once I press this immediately, it goes to this first-person view, which is so frustrating because I would love to set up the next pot and align it and be all good to go, but unfortunately we can't get that lucky. So I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. And then we're gonna have to throw it into reverse because I cannot see the next pot. I don't have visual. So yeah, instead of, you know, trying to rush this, actually it looks like it automatically puts it in, in neutral. So that's convenient for me, uh, but yeah. Unfortunately, I can't just keep queuing up pots because I don't get this view all the time. Now my stacks are gonna be awful. There's nothing I can do about that. Hopefully they look somewhat nice. Drop that crane down, and let's put this thing in the forward. Grab the next one. They're already done sorting, so these are some quick pots, man. Now, if we really wanted to be serious, we could also be dropping off crab pots right now and baiting them. Uh, that's something I should probably try and do later. I, I'm just trying to learn at this point still, so... Yeah, as long as we're getting crab in the bank, I'm happy. And being that it's king crab, it's worth a lot of money. This one looks like it's a little bit more filled, so that's good. At least we got some crab in these things. Grab this thing again, though. And yeah, I'm just going to try my best to stack these things. If they don't stack, they don't stack, though. There we go. We got 104 kgs this time. Yeah, look at this. For some reason, they're not stacking on this. It will probably stack down here. Oh, my God. It's so ugly. There's going to be crab pots all over this deck. 
Thankfully, we got a very large deck. So I will say, now with these updates, as you can tell, it's it's playable now. It's actually enjoyable. I did complain a little bit in the last episode, but it's nice to see that they updated the game so rapidly because so many people were upset. Now it feels like I'm crab fishing. It feels like I'm a captain of a crab crew, and this is just amazing. I want to see how much money we're going to earn, though, because this is where the gold is, man. When it comes to fishing, king crab is one of the best, so... Hopefully we can get some of that gold and uh, do really, really successfully today. It seems like every time we, we grab one, we're getting a little bit more fish, so that's good. All right, and you know what? These guys are sorting the crab so quick because there's so little of it. I might just put one to sleep just in case we need more later. So let's try and do this strategically. So yeah, we're going to send... Who's got the most stamina? She does. So I'm going to send what's-his-name inside. Mind you, they're actually doing all right right now, but I'd rather make sure they have as much stamina as possible. All right, I decided we're definitely out here a little bit early. I've already done seven pots. I thought it would take me a little longer, and we've only been soaking for about 11 hours. Again, that's only about half the time. So I figured I'd let these guys go sleep for a little bit. We just idle here for a little bit, but I also want to sort some crab myself. I, I want to do some of the dirty work. So let's get over here and see if we can actually sex these things now that I have a little bit more information on what's it all about. All right, give me all that good stuff. I see them in there. Am I supposed to actually grab them? Oh, okay. So there we go. We got one crab. Is it? That's a male, man. That's a male. You can see that triangle in the middle. I can tell immediately. So now, look at that. We got 17. So yeah, it makes it go a little bit faster. But yeah, we got 17 males for 88 kgs with that load. So now we're on seven. As you can see, it's been soaking for about 12 hours. I want to give it like... Eh, probably about 18 hours, so we're just gonna idle here a little bit. We got lots of gas any rate, anyways, and let the time wait. Actually, I totally forgot. I can just uh, burn some gas here and kind of wrap this around and really burn some time off real quickly. So there we go. As you can see, it's gonna turn green, and then blue is optimal time. If we can make them green right now, this would be great. So 15 hours... Just gotta... I really wish you could anchor down. I don't understand why you wouldn't be able to anchor down and just rest. Because you can do it at port, so it really is weird to me. Alright, it's only been 16 hours. This is the stupidest thing ever. There we go. That's what I like to see green. So now I don't feel like we're wasting time and we got actual good loads. So, back to the job at hand. And it's daytime at least now too, so we can see. Get our crew back out. And let's get some serious crap now. I just wanted to play it safe, man. But uh, yeah, we were here way too early. All right, let's see what this pot looks like now. This is not in a good zone, so we're still not going to get a lot. But the most I've got is about 100 kgs. That definitely, even in this bad zone, looks way more than 100 kgs. So now it might make sense for them to be out there sorting crab because there's actually a job to do. All right, this is exciting, though, man. This is real exciting. I'm going to keep trying to stack them up here. Oh, my God. It's just, it's so bad. It's like a shitty version of Jenga. There we go. Throw it right on top of that one. Is it floating in the air? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. All right, let me see if I can help you down there. It seems like, yeah, got, you got too much to deal with now. I feel like I can actually help. I don't have a sprint in this game, though, so by the time I get here, they're basically done. Let me see. What, what are we working with? Is this... That, that's a female. Get the hell out of here. All right, where, where, where the male's at? That's a male. That, that's a keeper. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually helping. This is kind of nice. There we go, female. You guys are done. 397 kgs. Hell of a lot better. Hell yeah. And it looks like I teleport back to my station, so it does make sense to go out there and help them sort as well. So we're definitely going to do that. I want to get some of those big pots, man. Oh, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Oh, we just hit it. That was close to having to realign ourselves, which would have not have been fun. So, whew, got it though. All good. Looks like another decent yield. We got to fill one, though, man. I want to see this thing fill. We're about half filled right now. So, sounds like you can get about 1,000 kgs in each pot if you do fill it all the way up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got, I got to move this as well. Got to remember to do that, but we're just wasting time. All right, here we go. Got to help you guys. For, for being two people here, you're really not that fast. Yeah, we're getting male after male right now. We're getting really lucky. There's the female I was waiting for. And we got a couple more. Male. Good, good, good. 318 kgs. So we actually dropped a little bit that time. All comes down to luck a little bit, too, because we, we, we have to hit the males, obviously. 
Oh, look at that. They're blue now. This is perfect. All right, so we are a little bit slower than when we dropped them, so these are soaking over time. Uh, now that it's blue, this is the optimal time. You want to see that blue. That's the good thing. So we're going to try and keep up with this blue now uh, because this should be really good yields. Unfortunately, we're in the bad zone of pots, though. If we check our map here, I think... Yeah, we're right in kind of like the dry blue zone. But next coming up, this is going to be... From 13 to 17 is going to be lots and lots. So that's obviously exciting. Oh, look at the size of that one. You guys are going to need my assistance this time. Not that I'm complaining, man. Because that's some serious stuff right there. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to move the pot. Let's move the pot first. And the mail goes in, and the mail goes in, and the mail goes in, and the mail goes in. Oh, there's the female. Oh, my God. You guys hardly are doing anything, but there we go. 500 kgs a pot? Hell yeah, dude. That's a lot of money right there. I know that, and we got to keep up with this blue. Now I'm just worried about the soak time, and, uh, yeah. It doesn't look like we're going to run out of room inside of our storage tank, though. God, if we could fill up that, I can only imagine the amount of money that would be. I'm excited to even see this little amount. All right, hook, line, and sinker. Let's get another big one. Hell yeah. Blue zone still, so that's good. And let me see the size of this one. They're only going to get bigger from here, so this is exciting. Female, no good. Male, good. All right. Oh, God. We're getting females in this one. This might be a pretty crappy pot. Getting a few males, though. And that's the important part. What the hell? I wasn't even done yet. 351 kgs. There was still some on the thing, I swear. That's so weird. Okay, these guys are rushing it, man. I, I think they're stealing some of my king crab. Looks like the biggest pot yet. That thing is fully loaded, basically. And it makes sense. We're now at, I think, uh, pot 11 or 12, which is the good zone again. So, yeah, we're going to get some serious amounts of crab here, assuming we don't hit a bunch of females. This is really, really good. There we go. That was a perfect stack there. Did you see that? If only, if only I could do that every time. Well... A lot of females once again. How'd we do, boys? 390. Seem to be staying between, like, 400 and 500, give or take a little bit. God, these pots are going to forever annoy me. I mean, look at this stack at the back here. This is just ridiculous. And you know what's frustrating is I've watched enough Deadliest Catch to know that when it comes to storing the pots, they have one guy on the crane and then one guy with a rope attached to the pots so you can rotate them. I think we should have a crew member that does that as well because these pots, I can't do anything about it. I can't rotate the damn pot. All I can do is just move it with W, S, A, and D. So yeah, we really need a way to rotate them so we can actually stack these because it doesn't make sense at all. Whatever though, as long as they don't fall off the boat, it doesn't bother me too much. It's just really freaking ugly. Can we do another nice stack here though? That would be nice. This one looks pretty good actually. Nope, never mind. Ah, our biggest pot yet, 518 kgs. That's what I'm talking about. That was some big crap because we only had 104 too. So now we're getting into the big boys. This is good. We're dead center in the middle of the green. So these next few pots should be great. What's the damage, Bob? Let's see it. Damn, son! 144 for 739 kgs. Hell yeah, dude. God damn. Oh, yeah, getting lots of males in this one. The moment I talk, of course. Oh, great, the females are coming now. So, oh, friggin' hell. Never mind. Shouldn't shouldn't have said anything, man. That's, that's the problem. Look at that, 462 kgs. Mostly because of females. We had a huge pot there. That's too bad, man. All right, down to two more. Somehow I got back to this view when they're still sorting. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to just focus on the next pot uh, instead of sorting with them. So I'm not going to complain. I don't think it's going to work the next time, though. This would have made my life way faster, though, if I could have done this every pot. All right, we're coming in a little bit sideways on this one, too. We might miss it. Oh, God, that would suck if we miss it. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, we are going to miss it. All right, you know what? I'll go for 17 then. And we'll wrap back around to get the final one. I can't believe now I miss a pot. Of course, that that that's how it works, right? Oh, God. I might miss this one, too. So we might have to pull all the way back around. Is it going to be in, in the radius? Oh, are they? Oh. I don't think I'm missing them. I think they actually have to deal with the crab first. And then they can actually grab the next pot. So I think they actually do need to be done. That's too bad. All right. So I guess we're coming back around. Well, good pot, at least. 555 kgs. I'll take it. Minor nuisance of me trying to get ahead of myself.
All right, one minor nuisance, but no big deal. All things considered, we've had a really successful line haul here. So one small problem, no big deal. We're still in the uh, blue zone anyways, so that's all you want. The longer it's in the water, the more money we're going to get anyways. I mean, until it turns away from the blue zone. So, I mean, we can't get much better than this. Looks like Enar called it quits for the day. We got one more pot, dude. Come on, stay out here. That's all right. We'll be able to do it with good old me and what's her name. Um, Ruth, good old Ruth over here should be able to help me out. She's got more stamina than the, than the guy. That, that that seems a little weird. I mean, she is an old lady after all. But yeah, me and her can grab the final pot. This is it, guys, and I think it was a pretty good haul. I mean, we didn't fill the boat, obviously, but we got lots of crab regardless for a three-man crew. You can't get much better than this, so there we go. Come on, pull it all out. You're a lot slower without him. Yeah, you actually have to wait for them to pull out the crab. And she's not really rushing it. There we go. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll help her out, though. That, that's all right. All right, so the pots as well, they're not pretty, but hey, they're stacked. They're not falling off the boat, so that's the important part. And there we go. Let me help, come help you, lady. And then we got to get back to port quick. I think we got more than enough time to get back to port because we got 48 hours before they start rotting. So we really were only out here for a few hours, so there we go. Female, good start, good start. Male, male, oh, there we go. Now we're talking three males in a row. Can we get four? Yes, we can. The big five, maybe. Oh my God, this might be a really good pot. Hell yeah, another male, six in a row now. Ah, there's the female. Ugh. Another female as well. Now we're finding all the females. All right, what'd we do, what'd we do? 370 kgs, honestly, I thought that pot was a lot more. All right, but now for the fun part. Now for the money making. Let's get back to port. Real, real quick here. Actually, before I fast travel, let's let this lady rest as well. She deserves it. And we'll give them a nice cooked meal since she cooked them earlier as well. So there we go. Oh, that feels good, man. We had a fully successful run there. Didn't lose a damn pot. Hardly screwed up at all, which is a good feeling in this game because it's pretty easy to screw up. So let's get back as quickly as possible. Make sure this uh, catch is nice and fresh for the uh, port. And yeah, call it a day. That is still not easy. I mean, it took me a little over an hour to do 17 pots, if you were curious. So still challenging, but I think we're going to get lots of money here. What was the final score? 500, or sorry, 5,519 kilograms. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, not sure how the prices of crab are here, but I don't really care. We're gonna get lots of money anyways. It's king crab, you cannot not get paid good. So we'll just port here and uh, yeah, see what they're working with. It's a rather small town, so holy crap. So wait, 325,000 to 1.39. Oh, it's telling me what I currently have. Pro wait, no, it's not. I'm a little confused. Is it, is, is it like gambling? So yeah, looks like a, we maybe randomly get between this number. Let's sell it and see how much we get. About a million! Holy crap, 960,000. That is a damn good payday, man. So looking at the uh, stats here, we actually had a lot of big crab as well, as you can see. So I guess we got pretty lucky with that. Quantity of 970 for over 3.2 kgs as compared to some of the smaller guys. So yeah. Weight comes into uh, into play here, which is really, really cool. I love this game now. Uh, yeah, I just had a few gripes with it with the last update, but now, as you can see, totally playable. And yeah, that was a completely successful run of about a million kroners. So yeah, guys, we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Fishing Baron Sea. I just wanted to give you one good run of King Crab. Now, if you do want to see more, though, let me know in the comments below. We got one more King Crab boat to buy if we do want to. It's a smaller one, though, so I don't really see the point. But yeah, if you guys want to see that and you guys are enjoying this, let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.